Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 5, Lesson 25, and today we are decomposing and composing fractions that are greater than 1 to express them in different forms. And if you can think of today's homework as being basically the reverse of what we did yesterday. Yesterday we started with a lot of improper fractions, and through different uh, techniques and different forms, different visual methods, we made those into mixed numbers. Today we're kind of going to do the opposite. We're going to take mixed numbers and we're going to turn them into improper fractions, just to demonstrate the flexibility of numbers and the fact that we can uh, manipulate them either way, because those are of course equivalent fractions. So let's take a look at our first problem. Problem number one asks us to convert each mixed number to a fraction greater than one. Draw a number line to model your work. Let's take a look at how they did number 1a. They had 3 and 1 fourths, and I noticed right away that they did this big hop out here on their number line to 3. But instead of calling this just 3 up here, they expressed 3 in terms of fourths. So they thought, well, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 12 fourths. It's another way of saying 3. And then there was one more fourth left over, this last little hop. That's my 1 fourth over here. So when they did a number sentence, they said that 3 and 1 fourth equals 3, right? That was obvious, plus 1 fourth. Okay, that's simple and straightforward. But in the next version, they substituted, instead of 3, they substituted the equivalent 12 fourths, right? They express 3 in terms of fourths, and that's 12 fourths plus a fourth. And then they added 12 fourths and 1 fourth together, which they can do because they're the same units, and they got 13 fourths. So now we've made our trip from our mixed number, 3 and 1 fourth, all the way to our improper fraction, 13 fourths. So let's try to do the same for 1b, 4 and 2 fifths. So if we do a number line for 4 and 2 fifths, we'll go ahead and draw that out here. We're going to have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's going to go a little bit beyond that. And we're working in fifths here, so I need to go ahead and make my little dots here. Then I need to divide each of these into five segments, right? Let's see, that's pretty decent. Not perfect, not an artist, uh, but that divides us into fifths. Now I can go ahead and do my drawing. So let's see, I'm going to hop up four spots. So I'm going to hop from zero all the way up to four. So I'm going to do huge arc up here. But instead of expressing this as just four, I'm going to do it in fifths. So let's see. Uh, I can figure out how many fifths that is. Let's see, that must be five, ten, fifteen, twenty fifths. So I'm going to say that this is twenty fifths. And then I do my last little hop. My last little hop is two-fifths. So my last little hop goes up like that. And that's two-fifths. And that allows me to write my number sentence here below, which is that four and two-fifths is the same as... Let's see, I'm going to follow their pattern. First, we just break it up. So that's four plus two-fifths. Then we express four in terms of fifths. And that was, let's see, that was twenty-fifths, right? We got twenty-fifths up here. So that's twenty-fifths plus two-fifths. And now it's everything in fifths, so I can add these two together, and 20 plus 2 is 22 fifths. And so that's our improper fraction, that 4 and 2 fifths is the same as 22 fifths. Awesome. Let's take a look at another problem. Problem number three, I'm sorry, two, convert each mixed number to a fraction greater than one. Oh, this is sounding a lot like the last time. Show your work as in the example. Oh, I see, but I don't see a number line this time. So let's see what they're doing. They give us a little note. Three times four fourths is the same as three times four over four. So let's see how they do three A. Three A is three and three fourths. And let's see, they break it down. They start to break it down the exact same way they did last time. Three and three fourths is the same as three plus three fourths is the same as, oh, I see. Instead of three, they say it's the same as three times four over four, right? So three sets of four fourths, right? Because we know four fourths is one. So this is the same thing as three. It's just expressing in a different form. So they have that quantity in parentheses plus three fourths. Now they multiply this out. Three times four fourths is 12 fourths plus three fourths. And then they just add it together now that we're in like units to get 15 fourths. Let's see if we can do the same thing with 5 and 2 thirds. So 5 and 2 thirds, 5 and 2 thirds is equal to 5 plus 2 thirds. Boy, my handwriting is really sloppy here. Uh, is the same as, okay, let's see, 5 times 3 thirds plus 2 thirds, right? Because we have 
five segments of three thirds, right? This in our number line, right? This would be five hops of three thirds each. Uh, let's see, plus our two thirds. So let's see. Next step would be, oh, we need to multiply these two, five and three. So that's fifteen thirds plus two thirds, and that's the same as. Okay, now we're all in thirds, right? We're in thirds here, so we can add our numerators together. That's fifteen plus two, that looks like 17 thirds. And so we've changed our mixed number of five and two thirds into 17 thirds. Oof, let's take a look at one more. Number three, convert each mixed number to a fraction greater than one. And this time we're gonna look at just one of these problems. The problem that we're gonna look at is uh, problem I. Problem I is five and five sixths. So right away, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just separate the 5 and the 5, 6. So let's do that first. Let's say that's 5 plus 5, 6. The first thing we do, right? And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to express 5 in terms of 6. So let's see. Let's skip count 5 times, let's see, 6 times 5. 6 times 5 would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 5 is the same as 30 sixths plus 5 more sixths. And now that everything is in sixth, I can add the two numerators together. We have sixth here and sixths here, so I can add 30 plus 5, and I get 35 sixths. So we know that 5 and 5 sixths is the same as 35 sixths, the equivalent improper fraction. Excellent. Well, that was a lot to run through. If you need to run any of that back and replay it so that you can go through it a second time or go through it a little slower, please feel free to do so. And please join me next time on Mr. Kung Has Problems. Thanks.